अर्थेन सिलेंडर्स अर्थेन सिलेंड्रिकल शेल थ्री मीटर लॉन्ग एंड वन मीटर इन डायमीटर इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एन इंटरनल प्रेशर ऑफ वन न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर फुल स्टॉप इफ द थिकनेस ऑफ द शेल इज ट्वेल्व एम एम कॉमा फाइंड सर्कम फ्रेंशियल एंड लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेसेस फुल स्टॉप ऑल्सो फाइंड द मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस एंड चेंजेस इन डायमेंशन ऑफ शेल टेक कैपिटल ई एज टू हंड्रेड जी पी ए एंड म्यू एज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विच वी हैव इन फ्रंट ऑफ अर्स बेस्ड ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन आई विल राइट द डेटा फर्स्ट इट इज गिवेन दैट अथेन सिलेंड्रिकल शेल थ्री मीटर लॉन्ग द लेंथ ऑफ दिन सिलेंडर इज थ्री मीटर्स वी कैन कन्वर्ट इट इन टू एम एम थ्री थाउजेंड एम एम एंड वन मीटर इन डायमीटर सो स्मॉल डी इज वन मीटर दैट इज वी आर कंसिडरिंग दिस एज एन इंटर इन डायमीटर इफ द थिकनेस ऑफ द शेल इज ट्वेल्व एम एम फाइन सर्कम फ्रेंशियल एंड लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेसेस दीज आर द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वन इज टू फाइंड सर्कम फ्रेंशियल मीन्स हुप स्ट्रेस एंड लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेस Also find maximum shear stress and changes in dimension. So maximum shear stress is tau max. Changes in dimension means we have to calculate how much is the change in diameter, change in length, and change in volume. So these are the questions which have been asked. And here I can draw a thin cylinder. having internal fluid i'll say that let small d be the be the diameter of this thin cylinder and thickness be small t here i have the length of the cylinder so now let us try to solve this problem the first question is hope stress i'll say that the first one is calculation of hope stress now for this hope stress i will draw the diagram and explain it to you that how the hope stress would be taking place so the cylinder will be breaking into two halves as shown here because of the bursting pressure taking place as there is internal fluid at pressure so this pressurized fluid will try to break open the cylinder into two halves along its diameter and because of this the stress which is developed it would be called as hoop stress and i can say that since hoop stress is given by sigma suffix h is equal to pd upon 2t therefore sigma h is equal to internal pressure in the question it is given as 1 newton per mm square so 1 into the internal diameter is 1000 mm 2 into t t is the thickness of this cylindrical vessel it is 12 mm so from this i will be getting hope stress is it's equal to 41.67 
न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर आर फर्स्ट आंसर देन आफ्टर दिस आई विल बी राइटिंग डाउन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेस and for longitudinal stress here i will be drawing a diagram so because of this pressurized fluid present here it can break the cylinder along its length that is an internal bursting pressure or we can say a tensile force is developed which will try to break the cylinder along its length and that is called as longitudinal stress so longitudinal stress is equal to pd upon 40 so therefore sigma suffix l is equal to p is 1 d 1000 divided by 4 into 12 that gives me the value 20.83 newton per mm square so this is my second answer now after hoop stress and longitudinal stress we have to calculate maximum shear stress as i have given you all the formula list in that we had written this was the formula list which we had written for solving problems on thin cylinders in this maximum shear stress is equal to pd by 8 times of t so here i have since maximum shear stress tau max is equal to pd upon 8t so therefore tau max value will be p is 1 d it is 1000 divided by 2 into 12 so therefore tau max value this comes out to be 10.42 newton per mm square so this is my third answer next they are telling us in this problem to calculate the changes in dimension that is the change in diameter change in length and change in volume so first i will start with calculation of change in diameter this change in diameter we can get from hoop strain i can say that since hoop strain e suffix h is equal to change in diameter upon original diameter so therefore i can write down hoop strain as it is sigma h hoop stress upon young's modulus minus mu into longitudinal stress upon young's modulus is equal to change in diameter upon original diameter so therefore i can take 1 upon e common and the value of young's modulus is it is given that capital e is 200 gpa so here it is 200 into 10 raised to 3 into the bracket sigma h value hoop stress this was our first answer 41.67 minus mu is 0.3 into longitudinal stress 20.83 our second answer and that will be equal to change in diameter upon original diameter which is 1000 mm so from this if i calculate this left hand side 
and multiply it by 1000 I will be getting change in diameter that answer is 0 0.177 mm our fourth answer now similarly we can calculate the change in length I can say that the calculation for change in length I can say for change in length like for change in diameter we have used hoop strain for change in length we will use longitudinal strain is equal to longitudinal stress upon Young's modulus minus mu into hoop stress upon Young's modulus and that will be equal to change in length upon original length so therefore I can take 1 upon E common that is 1 upon 200 into 10 raised to 3 into the bracket sigma L longitudinal stress 20.83 minus mu is 0 0.3 into hoop stress 41.67 is equal to change in length upon original length is 750 and in this problem the length is 3 meters actually it is not 750 it is 3 meters so I'll write it as 3000 mm so from this if I calculate left hand side multiplied by 3000 I will be getting change in length that comes out to be 0 0.125 mm that's the fifth answer now the last part which is left that is the change in volume after this I can say that calculation of change in volume For this, I'll say that since volumetric strain E suffix V is equal to longitudinal strain plus twice into hoop strain and that will also be equal to change in volume upon original volume. So here we had calculated the longitudinal strain and we have calculated the hoop strain. Next, volumetric strain will be equal to here therefore change in volume will be longitudinal strain plus twice into hoop strain multiplied by volume and therefore the change in volume will be equal to the answer which I have calculated from that I will be getting change in volume as 0 0.933 into 10 raised to 6 mm cube our sixth answer V was the volume it was calculated as pi by 4 into D that is 1000 square multiplied by length is 3000 so the we have calculated the volume and longitudinal strain and hoop strain values if we put here and multiplied by the volume we would be getting the change in volume so as we see in this question all the questions which they have solved we have found the values that is hoop stress longitudinal stress maximum stress change in diameter length and volume and with this we complete the question